Kenya's Auditor General Edward Oku has told Parliament that the current Electoral Commission members and the Secretariat were involved in massive procurement irregularities ahead of the 2013 general election. Oku says lack of planning by the Commission and mismanagement of the procurement process saw Kenyan taxpayers lose 4 billion Kenya shillings through costly government-to-government -government procurement of kits. Patrick Amimo has the details. Thank you. Edward Ouko appeared before the joint committees to shed more light on the special audit report that he tabled before the National Assembly's Public Accounts Committee in June 2014 over the procurement of electronic voting devices. A Kenyan voter, Barasa Nyukuri, on Tuesday presented a petition before the joint committee seeking removal of current IABC commissioners on grounds of incompetence and lack of integrity. Part of Nyukuri's evidence is also informed by the auditor's forensic report. Uh, through the supplies branch. Is it, is it the ordinary for the commissioners to convert the same, themselves to become a tender committee to approve the purchase of, of equipment? Was that their role? I think under normal governance structure, you wouldn't expect that. The auditor says in December 2012, the International Federation of Electoral Systems and the commission's then ICT director warned BVR kits would fail since the supplier lacked technical capacity. So you are confirming? Yes that in spite of numerous advices, they ignored those advices and went ahead and procured these devices. Oko says mismanagement of the BVR tender process saw the Kenyan taxpayer lose four, lose four billion shillings through a costly government-to-government -government procurement process. In October 2012, Treasury borrowed 7.2 billion shillings from a commercial bank to finance the acquisition of BVR kits. The loan was to be repaid over a period of 10 years at the rate of 5.12%. Curiously, the government paid fully the loan amount upfront before the kits were supplied. In that process, we paid, there was an interest charged on the loan amounting to euros 14 million. IBC, as an institution, shoulders the residual responsibility of the shortcomings observed in the 2013 elections. This particular investigation that gave birth to this report, we are now considering as part of the evidence, was not initiated by the Auditor General. Yes, I, I want to emphasize that point because, uh, Mr. Chairman, on June 3rd, 2013, I was responsible for authorizing this, this investigation as chairman of the Public Accounts Committee then. This is, this is one of perhaps the most thorough investigations ever conducted by a, 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 a committee of this house. Going through this, there was total violation of the public procurement uh, law. The issue of single sourcing, contrary to Section 74 of the Public Procurement Disposal Act, should not have a reason. Were there any useful explanations that were offered for purposes of some of these outright violations. If it were any explanation which I can attribute to the failures, it would mean it's like I'm giving an excuse, finding an excuse for the, the failures which went on. That's what you'd be asking me to do. And that is a bit difficult. The IBC commissioners will appear before the Joint Committee next week. Patrick Amimo, KTN News.